Bringing in the new year in historical Grand Slam fashion, and there's no better way to kick off our coverage than with the two best mixed doubles teams in the world squaring off. This is the eighth overall meeting between these two teams. The last time they met up, Anna Bright and Jane Zignatowicz got their only win against Annalie Waters and Ben Johns, the team that seems just impossible to beat. Hello, everybody. So thrilled to bring you the action today alongside my partner in crime, Dave Fleming, top senior pro and one of the best general managers in Major League Pickleball as well. I'm Michelle McMahon, and this is an exciting matchup for so many reasons. Let's touch on that last meeting, Dave. What was it that gave Anna Bright and James Nanowich the magic that they needed to overcome the, the monster that is Annalie Waters and Ben Johns? Yeah, I think coming into that, and this was in the pool play at the finals, so... They knew they had an opportunity to play loose and free because it wasn't bracket play. So they let it fly, and guess what? They win 11-8, 11-8. So guess what? They are confident because that W column, as you mentioned how many times they played, actually has a one in it now. So that is big. <laughs> so they are confident. I mean, there's the dude that's number one in the world across the board. And I, I cannot believe I'm saying this, and it's true. He lost his first match of 2024 in singles. Quang Duong took him out, and that was very, very impressive in that. So extra chip on his shoulder. He cannot get a triple crown today, as he is obviously not in the singles final. Well, Anna Bright has a chance to get two gold medals on her side. There's a look at her partner, James Ignatowicz. Partners on and off the court. They had an incredible run last season, made it to the podium over five times as a pair. And James Ignatowicz, his hand speed is second to none. And that backhand roll is heavy. The forehand roll is heavy. What else are you looking out for on the side of James Ignatowicz? Well, I think, you know, he has to play well. And and he cannot have levels within the match or they will lose. They've played two other finals, these teams, and they both went four, and this is best of five, just to be clear for everybody. He has to be an absolute menace, and he's got to make his overheads because there was a big problem <laughs> yeah. yesterday at sitters that he missed. If that's in his head, that could be a big problem. And then there's the fiercest competitor in all the land right there. 24 years old, Anna Bright, a strong tennis background for her. Played college players. tennis at UC Berkeley, ranked as high as 13 in the country and she is so passionate, so fun to watch. And what else can you say about the talent of Anna Bright? Well, I think she wants to prove to the world that, hey, I know you're talking about Anna Lee and Catherine a lot. Well, just, just you watch what happens today. So big stage, two matches. And it's uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Well, you mentioned it, Dave. This is best three out of five on Championship Sunday. Four doubles. Singles is best two out of three. And if you're new to pickleball, we're so thrilled to have you with us. Let's take a look at some of the rules that our friends and fans should know about heading into the big Championship Sunday. Yeah, so if you have a bad game with best of five, it's a lot easier. you got more time to overcome that. Side out scoring means only the server can win the point. And then the players are calling their Lines. So here we go, players. What? I'm New judging ball. the value New of my opponent's shot. Yes, you are. Zero, zero, if they're two. not sure, you can challenge a call. Let's play pickleball. Point. There's the Ignatowicz backhand roll drop right at the toes of Annalie Waters. Bright and Ignatowicz zero, on the board first. Just long for Ben Johns, a 2 nothing lead for the two seat. Yeah, that's the signature shot from him. Just didn't roll it enough and uh, sales deep. Two, Great two. start again for confidence that we talked about. So oh, Ignatowicz gets the poach. I think the call was wide. Was Emily Waters looking for clarification on the counter attack. Let's yeah, have a look. I saw it wide and the fact that Ben was able to get around a ball that was hit that hard. Usually most people would be late and that would be to the other side of the court. <laughs> side out. And if I'm in their camp, go. James, go. I don't care that you missed that one. You got to be a menace. Zero, three, one. Nice. 
There's the power of Ignatovic. Yeah, and so just wildly yesterday, a couple balls, and that one wasn't up above his head. Zero, three, just two. missed him, so I want to see how he does with the first one of those. Side out. A couple of little sloppy. Yeah. A little sloppy over there to start. Three, zero, one. Ooh, second inside serve. out, just a bit long. Second serve on the side of Ignatovich. That's exactly what he wants. I mean, open court, was in control, just not enough Three, spin. Three, two, two. Point. And against a lot of the male players, that backhand side on the ground isn't Four, zero, an offensive two. problem, but with Ignatowicz, it can be. And he's got that vicious roll, so it's not a safe place. How about Side that out. backhand attack from Natalie Waters? And not that is not her. a safe place either. <laughs> that is the no-go zone. Nowhere is safe. <laughs> yeah. 0-4-1. Zero, zero, no. Wide for Ignatowicz. Yeah, just him playing aggressive is the key for their opportunity here. One for one. away from Ben Johns. Patient point to get to that point, though. Yeah, and Anna Bright said, you know what, I'm going to keep Ben honest and try and pull the trigger. Oh. And he flinched one. just a tad to the middle, but his hands are so good, he's able to get back there and then crunch the last one. Cleaned up by James Ignatowicz. There's the lob, Second which serve. is a factor today for it, many reasons. It's a factor because everyone is using it as an offensive play. And on that far side of the court, we were out there hitting before these matches got started. You're looking right up into the sun two, as four, well, two. Michelle. So lobbing towards Ben and Anna Lee is a better shot here today in the early going. Big backhand finish for Ben Johns, making it a one-point game. Yeah, and Ignatowicz stuck his paddle and then in there on a cross-court attack from Anna Lee, where Anna Bright was ready to just destroy it, but it never got to her paddle. Anna Bright pulls the trigger down the middle. Beautiful finish. We're going to be saying Anna a lot today <laughs> because these two are going to play against each other in women's doubles as well. So. Uh, and account's going to be well over 500. <laughs> oh, slap or finish on the Ernie attack of Ben Jones. Well, sir. Yeah, and that's a play that uh, if you play a player who's a little less with their anticipation as well as just obviously their athleticism. You have to have both to hit an Ernie. Four, three, two. And that just takes away a drop that you want to hit to somebody's backhand and get yourself to the kitchen, Ben. That's not on my watch. Point. And this serve. is the major factor here, Michelle. Mm -hmm. They got a ton of points through their run to the finals off Five, Ignata, three, which there was a rule change with the serve, and it has not affected him at all. He's been just absolutely clobbering it. And a bright finishes down the line. Big. What a run for the two seat. Yeah, he's looking for a short return that he can just Six, clobber three, with his forehand. And Anna Bright is such a good mover. She can come in and finish it off like that last one. Yeah. Side out. How is James Ignatowicz still able to generate that much power with the service he's got rule such change? Such a lively arm. It's it's remarkable. He does get good torque through his body as well. Three, six, one. I mean, when you're tall, you have a lot of opportunity to do that if the mechanics are good and they're very good. Point. 
<laughs> the, the crowd gro oh, <laughs> just groaned on that one at uh, Bright's feet. Four, six, one. You can't have a better day to play pickleball than today either. Michelle, 64 and very little wind. Perfect conditions and a perfect poach on the backhand of Annalie Waters. Best in the world moving from the right side of the court to the left and Kitchen Can will show us Five, that. Six, Just You cannot put the ball back towards where it came from. And John's on the attack this time, reaches in and exploits Anna Bray. I mean, it's only fair if we're going to the tattoo parlor that both <laughs> players got one. I mean, my goodness. What a run. John's and Waters come from out of nowhere. And guess what? We're tied up at six. More from game one on the other side of the break. as well as being six, that six, veteran four. presence and she's I love using veteran and she's played like uh, less than two full Second years serve. of pro pickleball but she's that good had seven gold medals in women's doubles last year six, all six, with six, Annalie yes. Waters did Anna Bright so interesting storyline there Ooh. side out get power there so nice time out to not have any more damage and sometimes even if you give up the lead and it's tied but you don't let them get past you, six, you six, just one. mentally you're like okay we're fine Right, went down the line inside out and on big Ben Johns almost had it. Aggressive six, needs six, to be two. the theme for them. So keep swinging away. You're not going to make every one of them. Side out. Tremendous return there from Ben Johns because that was absolutely blistered by Ignatowicz. Six, six, one. Point. Johns and Waters take the lead for the first time in game one. Seven, six, one. Uh, one. It's a clean Second line serve. drive from Anna Bright. That's so hard to keep in with a two handed backhand because if you get too much left hand into the swing, you're going to pull it wide. That is just Seven, really six, well controlled by her. Side out. Six, seven, one. Second serve. So this is another thing. Some teams chose not to unwind the stack with how heavy Ignatowicz has been serving. Obviously, Ben and Anna Lee are, but that's a long way to go. Side out. Ooh. That's what he was trying to take advantage of. So they both missed forehand drives into where people were unwinding Seven, the stack, six, and it's tantalizing, but you got to make it. And there's what I was talking about before. If you get jammed up just a little bit, you can't clear your body. Eight, six, one. Second serve. Annalie's ability, though, to usually make those balls at such a low angle is Eight, six, two. incredible. Yeah, that was a great first volley that made that shot so difficult. Point couple of missed fourths here for Anna Bright. 9-6-2. Big Side finish out. for James Ignatowicz. So yeah. much top spin on that ball. Yeah, and Ben pulled his pad out of the way because he knew, you know, if you're Six not nine, sure, let the player back there. But Anna, Anna like, dude, it went right by your paddle. Come on, man. <laughs> Point. Okay, right 
And it's dangerous Seven, nine, if one. they score when Anna Bright is serving because you know you have those seeds coming from the James Ignatowicz serve. Ooh. Anna Henley Waters, excuse me, wanted that line on Ignatowicz. Had the Eight, opening, nine, one. now a one point game, the two seat coming right back. Oh, man. <laughs> if he just throws that straight up in the air in the middle of the court, Ben's going to have to let that bounce because the sun would have affected that. Eight, Break nine, it on the first one. This is a big serve right here in this first game. Mm, deflection missed Schlong, and the serve goes back to Johns and Waters. Well, there's a good save in the middle of that with Ben with a kind of awkward paddle position right there, but James couldn't get the next one. Mm. Tough bounce for Anna Bright, and game point now to Johns and Waters. Timeout receivers, 10-8-1. And a timeout will be called to follow. James Ignatowicz and Anna Bright have to play perfectly on their side to try and come back in this one. But how did Johns and Waters find a way? That was once a 4 nothing lead for Ignatowicz and Bright. Had the lead most of the way through. Then it's the Johns-Waters effect. Yeah, I mean, they made some errors, quite frankly, to start the match. And, you know, I don't want... James and Anna to play perfect. I want them to play aggressive. Obviously, you need to make the the routine stuff, and that's what that's where the extra pressure becomes, Michelle, because you're like they're really good on the other side. So the dinks need to be down. They need to be shallow and unattackable. And then when you get a chance, like I mean, the shot that they had before they gave the ball back. I mean, James is in a great position. So you want to earn the chance to execute what you want, and they have done that. I mean, there's a couple, the couple force, and that was a third one right there from Anna Bright. You make those and look at the score difference, and that's what the difference often is, and that's the way Ben plays. It is, and look at this win-loss record, Dave. 138 wins to just five losses. That's a 97% win percentage. Not too shabby for Brighton and Ignatowicz no. as well. A newer partnership on the pro side of things. 77%, but 97% of the time it's they're funny. winning. But for Brighton and Ignatowicz, one of the five they have. So that's, you know, that's the confidence they can bring into this matchup here today. Time in. 10 8, 1. Ben Johns, Two leave switches. it to him to clean it up and take the first 11 8. Yeah, really nice. You know, they sort of returned the favor. Great serve by Ben, and then it was Bright and Ignatowicz having a problem with the fourth ball, popped it up, and then the classic finish. And I love the sign game that that, that <laughs> lady brought, like, a pickup truck full of signs. <laughs> I love it. More signs and celebrations to come on the other side of the break. The top break team back on top of the game on the two seat. The official ball of the PPA Tour. Mission Hills Country Club zero, on their two. feet for Ben and Anna Lee who just took game one. Point. Yeah, you heard Anna Bright yell out and she was right because if, if, if James one, zero, has two. to reach up and behind him, there's no way that ball is staying in, but uh, sometimes it's too tempting. Side out. And Anna Bright's like, this is how you let a ball go, James. <laughs> Zero, one, one.
Johns reaches in, pokes it down the line and on break. It was the indecision of Anna Bright there. She was like, ooh, I'll take that out of the air. Zero, no, I two. won't. And then your paddle even, and it's fractions, but fractions are a problem when Ben's in front of you and got to get that ball on the ground. And there's the pressure of the Ignatowicz serve right there, especially when they're on an odd number and have one, to one, unwind two. the stack. Side out. So yes. these first volleys are so critical, and that's a great one from Anna Lee right there. One, one, one. Wow. Ben John's on the fly. That's just an absurd point because <laughs> Anna Lee's body position for the drop there was Two, not one, one. optimal. And she threw it right on the ground and great recognition by Ben. Second serve. And a bright said her share of net cords go against her here, so she loved that the, that one set one, up because when Ben Johns has the one-handed backhand roll ready, that's usually a problem. Side out. One, two, one. Mm, right, open up the court, trying to go down the line on Ben. Yeah, she needs to keep going there. It has to be part of the winning formula. So one, two, far two. today, Ben has been up to the task. Anna Bright was not ready for the reply. Side out. That's another out yell from Anna Bright that uh, James was so on it that couldn't get the paddle out of the way. And letting balls go is a very important Two, skill one, one. all the way up to this level. We're all playing lots of out balls there on the parks. <laughs> Second serve. Oh, Ignatowicz, the winner of that rally. So aggressive at the kitchen. Yeah, if there's a uh, defensive two, ball that two. does land in the kitchen but bounces up, you have got to attack that. Really well done. Point. And so now it's the reverse of the same strategy with Ben and Anna Lee saying, you guys Three, one, are two. trying to unwind the stack and we're going to make life difficult on you. Side mm, out. And a missed serve from Ben Johns. And what you do when someone's unwinding the stack is you want to serve one, three, to one. that sideline in that corner to make the run just a little bit farther. That's what Ben tried to do, is just miss the execution. Second serve. And Lee lets it rip on the overhead. Yeah, so that's a great job of being able to push one, three, off and get back quickly. Ooh. Point. That was going to be an absolute heartbreaker if Bright and Ignata, which didn't win it because they were discombobulated two, three, two. on the other side. <laughs> and still almost got it. Yeah. Point. It's a nice shot from James Ignatowicz. Yeah, and you saw Anna Bright even not with as much pace, three, three, but served on the side, and Ben wasn't set when he went to hit that shot. Side out. Three, three, one. Point. Missed return, but Anna Bright Four, said three, she liked it. Obviously going for the deep baseline there for Natowicz. Second serve. So you saw they chose not to switch because of the pace and the problem that the serve does with Anna Bright. Four, They'll three, go two. back to switching here with James returning. Side out. 
just late on that one. So Anna Bright now has some confidence in the fact that she can make that one. And there's Three, a couple four, one. of brilliant minds of the sport. My goodness. Hello, Lee Waters. And Colin Johns will have a chance to win and play later today. What is that? Second Waters serve. was in the mix yes. for this Grand it's Slam action. As you mentioned, it was not the official comeback yes. for her, but stepped in for Jesse Irvin playing with Christian Elshon. Made a good little run. Nice run. Three, four, two. Had a nice, very nice win over Dylan Frazier and Hurricane Tyra Black. That's a very yes. good win. Pretty lob from Bright. Point. Ben lights up Ben Johns. You're the lob. You called it, Dave, back yes. in 2023. And, and that is pretty. And you want to then attack the paddle side hip. Perfectly done from Anna Bright. Really difficult to get that lob up and over, but it is four, the year lob, so she's making it happen. Point. Five, four, two. And a bright lights it up once more down receivers. the line Six, on four, Ben John. Anybody in that discipline, that's absurd. Time in. Ben and Ellie won a staggering Six, four, 15 two. gold medals together last season. Side out. And a side and out. Got exactly what they wanted coming out of the timeout. Took pace off the Four, serve, six, which I like a little change up. Second serve. Yeah, and this is, back. without question, something that a lot of players have done, but now Four, it's six, been happening consistently. If that bounces up in the kitchen at all, it's getting wrecked. SWAT team, Ben Johns, all over it. Five, six, two. And Anna Bright did the right thing. She gave ground, but uh, too much pace. Side out. So both sides got what they wanted on a shorter return to get to the kitchen and didn't make it. Six, five, one. Oh, another out call from Anna Bright. Ignatowicz can't get out of the way fast enough. Third one in game two here, and uh, he's so locked into the fight that he just couldn't get the paddle out of there. Looks like they're requesting a new ball, which he and again, can change it out at any point. Just to square away what the, the rule is now, it's we put a new ball in play. You used to be able to go over and look at Oh, there's some that are more new, uh, less. Five, two. Uh, <laughs> this is all new when it's, you know, when we have to have an egg hunt under the bleachers or whatever. All over at that time, making up for hitting the alcohol just a moment ago. Yeah, that's a beautiful job by him and Anna Bright and Anna Lee Waters. And that cross court dink battle, both dudes are like wanting to get involved in that point. So Seven, five, two. she was able to hang in there. Well done. Side out. Wow. So exact same opportunity, though, on the two-handed backhand side. And that one, he was just going to roll in there. You want to beat seven, this one. team, you have to make that shot. Comes away with it. What a battle that point. 
Unbelievable dig in the middle of that from Ben Johns, but that's twice Annalee Waters has started the attack, the last rally in this one, and Ignatowicz was ready. Side out. And the missed third now creeps onto the other side of the court. Quick thanks to our referee crew for this one. Mark Thomas, Drew DeHennis, Don Stanley. Uh-oh, pop-up chance delivered by Annalee Waters. Yeah, and what's wild about that last shot is James is running over there, and Anna Bright is waiting for it. I mean, they would have been okay. They're still in trouble, but uh, sometimes you try to do just a little too much. 7 5 two. This sorcery for Ben Johns at the kitchen. Yeah, and we might want to check the soles of the shoes of that gentleman right there. That was a lengthy skid. Just tried. He knew he had to leave Five, it in the one. kitchen. Anything else he hit, they were dead. Just couldn't get it there. Second serve. See, James, let it go. Much easier to do on a ball, obviously, from the baseline than at Five, the seven, kitchen. Two. That is awesome partner protection there from James Ignatowicz, not only to get it and give your partner time to get in, but he had a winner off that ball. Seven, five, one. Second serve. around center court here, I love it. Cole Ben Johns hops the corner, hits an impossible angle. Yep, Anna Bright has tried to put it in, air quotes, safe space in that backhand in the kitchen, but uh, just easily jumped over, and we can thank Ernie Perry, who that shot is named after, for saying, wait a minute, what happens if I jump over this? And they're like, okay, well, then that's my shot. It's an Ernie. <laughs> Point. What a shot there from Ben John. Just a quick deflection. Yeah, and Anna Bright again just is relentless in attacking there. Ben's been up to the challenge most of the day. Yeah, a little emotion from Ben there. I was going to say, wow, okay. animated more than we're used to. Yeah, and that <laughs> readiness, because usually there's an ATP and then your partner comes over and finishes that off if they do defend at that time. It was Ben with the forehand, so well done. Tie game in game number two, seven all. Johns and Waters looking to go up to nothing on the two seat. Courtside view of the Mission seven, Hills seven, Country one. Club. Oh. Wow. You're so bad. What the hell? So Anna Bright frustrated with the miss there after Ignatowicz went flying Eight, seven, past her. Unfortunately for Ignatowicz and Bright, this is exactly what happened in game one. Really tight at the end. We had a miss there from Anna Bright. Nine, seven, one. A little uh, one-handed backhand specialty from Ben Johns. They've got to get the ball back quickly. Oh, no. Missed put away chance from James Ignatowicz. Timeout, receiver. And this is literally what happened at 10 8 in game number one. Anna Bright says over to James Ignatowicz, Do you want to call timeout? They did. Uh, unfortunately for them, they ultimately didn't make it. So the bigger problem with that miss beyond the scoreboard is.
that is 100% in his head from yesterday. He even mentioned it at the desk. And now we have seen it here on Championship Sunday. So that's Scott. It's easier said than done because when you miss a routine shot that you're great at, I mean, he hits winners better than most on that. And now you work so hard against this team to earn that particular ball, and then he doesn't make it. That's going to be tough, but that's why they're the best players in the world the mental yep. ability to overcome that. We'll see what they've got. Well, and they're in the moment, in the limelight, constantly yes. winning regularly on Championship Sunday. The amount seconds. of reps they have in these pressure-filled moments, nothing no phases out. them for that reason. This is the head-to-head -head numbers. Six and one in favor of Waters and Johns. That one win, as Dave mentioned, coming in San Clemente at the PPA final in December. And Anna Bright acknowledged that as Time somewhat in. of an asterisk because seven, one. Waters and Johns did still win yeah, they still the tournament. Won the tournament that, oh, no. Switch in. That's tough. Tough way to go down in game two. Ignatowicz seemingly shaking it off. And this is best three out of five at least. So Ignatowicz and Bright still alive, but they've got to find something, anything. Uh, yeah. You hate to see a high-level match have a game end on a ball that doesn't come up, but that's what happened. Can they rally? Of course. Johns and Waters one game away from their first title of 2024. 17 later this month. I know, I was just going to say that. January 26th, yeah. she's got a birthday coming up. So, kudos three, to her. Brayden Ignatowicz need to play better down the stretch. They've been right there. Can they do it here in game three? Side out. Zero, zero, one. Ben Johns and James Ignatowicz in a firefight, something I'd love to see oh, more of. I want, I want 30 more <laughs> back and forth there. One, zero, one. Sometimes when you get one of those, they understand the entertainment value. They're not going to put it <laughs> anywhere else. They'll just go after it. Oh, oh sneaks it around the corner, does James Ignatowicz. That's pretty. And that's what a two-handed backhand zero, two. enables you to do. You can let the ball travel past all the way to your left hip. Really well done. Side out. Zero one one. Wow. Second serve. Big Johns clobbers it. Zero one two. Yeah, and that's frustrating for Bright and Ignatowicz because the Ignatowicz serve can be their offensive engine one, to zero, get one. chunks of points and to get zero there to start game three is definitely frustrating. Nice. All right, Second there's serve. a good confident swing at that there. And I saw a little, you saw him just a little exhale there. And it, it was, I'm sure, like, okay, yes, you're very good at that. And it's back. One, zero, two. Side out. Zero one one. Second serve. Can't get to the kitchen there and that cannot be a consistent Zero, one, theme here in game three. So lobbing when we're all set at the kitchen is one thing. Lobbing on the run is just, it just adds so much degree of difficulty. It's not an offensive shot. One, zero, one. Nice. 
second serve. <laughs> Out, but I got this one. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna hit an out ball. Yeah, I mean, hit one, zero, two. <laughs> pad, the, pad the stats is fine. Ooh, through the wickets of Ben Johns. Big roll from Ignatowicz. Do they match. ever have wickets here? I mean, this is the <laughs> best croquet I have ever seen. It is awesome. <laughs> Point. Anna Bright punishes Ben Johns for the pop-up. What a bizarre positioning point because Anna Bright was worried Ben was going to maybe Ernie that or take one, it out one, of one. the air and stayed back, and it actually ended up working out for her. Second serve. One, one, two. Point. Great drive from James Ignatowicz set that up. Nice little two, one, two. inside out with just about 60% pace. That was perfect from Bright. Side out. It's the first one he's missed. I mean, just keep, got to keep really going one, for two, it. One. Second serve. One, two, two. Oh, my. What do you even do with that? I mean, that's just sometimes you got to tip your visor in the case of Anna Bright. That ball was below two, the two, net, two, two. and he was able to find a perfect location right for out. the attack. How does he do that at such a low position? It's, the dude's hit about... 6,000 of those in practices and, and, and is confident. That's a big two, thing two, for that shot is he's, he knows he can hit it from that position. Do not try that at home. Second serve. An opportunity has been there throughout all three games here for Ignatowicz and Bright. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Side out. Two, two, one. Second serve. Two, two, two. When she gets to the left side, and if she gets an Ernie on top of it, incredible. From east to west, then to the Ernie, buries it. Three, two, two. Oh, nice flick from James Ignatowicz. Yeah, the Referee array timeout. of options that Two, three, James one. has available on the backhand side is remarkable. because the seeding is going to be so important with so many good players here on tour. Second serve. Two, three, two. Side out. Three, two, one. That 
arm of, is so loose of James Ignatowicz. And, and I'm happy that it's mentally there now, great too. A great job of protecting his partner, though, in the first volley. A bird alert. And <laughs> Lee was ready. Oh, oh my. Oh, no. Wow. That's usually over. 4 2 2. Side out. Two, two four, one. Point. There's the presence of Ignatovich there. You know you have to get that ball on the ground away from him. Three, four, one. Pulled wide there from Ben. Point. Mm, missed it wide. Yeah, that ball just kept fading away from him. He thought for sure it's a good four, idea four, to one. take it, and then it got less and less of a good idea. Point. Three errors, a change one. in the leader here. Looks exactly like the first two. The question is, can down the stretch like a horse race, can you find your best stuff? Well, Johns and Waters always seem to find a way to come back. Play clean down Time the in. stretch, stay aggressive on offense here. Five, and four, one. Try and get this one into the barn and force a game four. Second serve. Mm, wide for Bright. Yeah, that's a tough make right there. Ben is certainly creeping into the Five, middle, four, but two. he should be able to get there. Point. There's the serve. Six, Six four, two. Oh. Serve and a powerful forehand right at the body of Annalie Waters. Rarely do you see her against a ball that she can't make. Yeah, and that's so close to her. It is so hard to control a ball. Like, usually a short return is automatic drop, but not with this dude. Ooh. Side out. And again, wonderful serve and maybe the easiest of the three drives there, but that Four, one seven, catches one. the tape. No. Point. Five, seven, one. Point. Waters had it lined up on the backhand. Yeah, great job by Ben to start Six, the seven, problem. One. was there for the counter. She's been looking for that sideline a couple points now. No, no. Okay, I'll hit a winner. Well done, <laughs> A.B. Point. So she's trying to add loft on the return to give her time to get over to seven, the preferred seven, side and added too much loft there. And a three-point lead for Bright and Ignatowicz now gone and lead surrendered back on the side of Waters and Johns. Up, returns Time and in. dinks and everything at the kitchen Eight, seven, and then two. go aggressive when they have the opportunity. Man, that's unfortunate. They've also had that, the ball that didn't bounce on game point in game two, and then that one off the tape. 9-7-2. Point. Wow, and a cocktail return. Now receivers, 10-7-2. 20 24 First of many, one Time would in. imagine, for these two. 10-7-2. And a 
crash to close it. Anna Lee Waters on the backhand poach off the setup of Ben Johns. And the world number one is back and as dominant as ever in 2024. I mean, you couldn't have put a more... Welcome back to Championship Court, where Tracy with the title sponsor Hyundai is here to present the trophy to the winners. Tracy. Thanks, Liv. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the amazing fans and the members at Mission Hills Country Club for supporting this prestigious event. Um, I just want to say how proud I am to um, uh, 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 be here for Hyundai and congratulate Ben and Anna Lee for a great week. Uh, you played with the new ball. Uh, you beta tested the new serve and you got through it and here you are again. So congratulations on winning the Hyundai Masters Trophy. Give it up for our winners, guys. Thanks, Michelle. Back to you.